so the the oud is a very old instrument. Um, I'm interested in the history of it. I know that it is it's probably precedes the lute, uh, which preceded the guitar. So there's a a lineage there that has a tie to modern music. But give us a little bit of a sense of the history of the instrument uh, and how it came to be. Yes, as I know, the oud instrument is an old musical instrument based on the drawing of ouds found on some historical walls that are over 3,000 years old, dating back to 1,000 or 1,500 B.C. So it's an old instrument. But of course, the shape changed as well as the materials the oud is made of. I believe that after that, many instruments have come to look like oud, such as lute, or mandolin. Of course, there are a lot of details on how the movement of all the instruments are. It's a very old instrument indeed. So to the, uh, to the untrained ear, uh, someone who's listening to the oud for the first time, the first thing that I thought of was it sounds a little bit like the sitar from India, uh, but it doesn't have the metallic sound. Is that a fair comparison? I think the oud as an instrument is completely different from the sitar. The sitar has metal parts in the way it's built, unlike the oud, which is entirely a wooden instrument. So the sound produced by the sitar is more metallic, while the oud produces a warm, charming, and controlled sound. I think everybody loves the sound of oud. <laughs> so in my research about the UAE, which led me to you and understanding the oud. I learned about the oud, but it's not necessarily uh, an instrument from the United Arab Emirates. It's actually from the entire Arabic world. Um, so, but what are the other instruments that are, you know, sort of native to the Arabic world that people may not be familiar with in the Western world that uh, I guess, you know, are also included in music here and, and round out the sound of, of music in this part of the, the world. There are a lot of musical instruments in the Arabic world, or we can call it oriental, such as kwanun instrument, the ne, and of course, different simple traditional instruments, such as al-rababa, which is used here in the UAE, as well as Oman and other GCC countries. There are airblown instruments such as the mezmar, and there are some instruments that are not Arabic but are used, such as the kaman and cello, used with oriental music, as we call it. Mm -hmm.